my biggest takeaway from this competition is that I have learned how to create a business plan and come up with innovative products to meet customers' needs. When we first started, our team had no idea how we can build a proper business plan. With the help of our lecturer, Miss Karen, we learned that we learned the steps to put together a good business plan. We also learned to develop solutions to solve real life problems by focusing on our target customers, which is seniors. I believe that a business plan will be beneficial to me in the future when I want to start a business. Another takeaway is that I get to learn from the other teams during the competition finals. They presented amazing innovations that address issues such as mental health and elder care. For me, it has certainly been a fun and enriching experience to take part in this competition. I once again thank you SUSS for the learning experience. And I realized the importance of conducting in-depth research. So as like there are many sources online, so you have to actually like cross-check like each other to see whether how reliable is like the source itself. So that was one thing that I took away is to um, conduct a reliable research before like coming up with a conclusion. And then moving on is um time management with good planning because um as we are like quite new to, um, for me, like, I'm quite new to um, the, the flow of the business proposal is actually quite different from what we are uh, doing, what we learn in school. So you have to really like go, go into every single uh, area and study it before like we distribute the workload and see like who is um, more suitable to uh, like complete this um, section itself. So um, good time management and planning is very important uh, for us to um, progress throughout the project and ensure quality in our project as well. And then next is teamwork and communication. Um, I mean, there were times where um, we had uh, communication barriers because like we failed to understand like what we we're trying to convey to each other because like mostly our meetings are done over like video calls so or like phone calls. So it can be quite hard to convey like express what you want to say um, over a video call so like there needs to be a lot of patience i would say and then lastly is um also more of like for communication wise it's like it's better to uh, what i've learned is to have active listening so uh so to allow your teammates to actually um finish what they have to say before uh, you express your thoughts. Uh. I think that's very important and also to be actually open to feedback. So you should actively ask your um, teammates for feedbacks. So this will actually improve the overall quality of the project. Yeah. Someone who doesn't really know like what I want to do in life, like what I want to do in university, for example. So for me, it's because like I had a better understanding of my strengths, which um, my friends helped me discover also. So I think uh, I discovered my interest in business, so I'll be continuing to pursue business in like university and maybe like like go out in the workforce as well. So also that uh, working with people from like different backgrounds have also um, let me expose me to different working styles and presentation, which will help in my future collaborations with people uh, in university or in the workforce as well. And I think this experience has been a wholesome one for every one of us. Yeah, and we really enjoyed working with each other. Yeah. The biggest takeaway from this competition is most importantly broadening our horizons, especially from different teams and also my own teammates. So actually we, we know we get to we get to know about more about there are many social problems in Singapore. And actually also that because of this competition, we are aware that actually everyone is doing their own best to think of ideas to solve or um, better manage them, the problems. And also, being critical in your own thoughts and stepping out of your comfort zone is very essential because this is where change starts. And also in the business, it's, um, you definitely need teamwork because there are some aspects that there are some strengths and there are some weaknesses that you may not be able to cover. So therefore, we have a team. Just like how in this competition, I have Audrey and Elisha to um, cover my, to have my back whenever, uh, you know, in this competition, if there's any aspect that I couldn't cover. So that is one of the biggest takeaway. And also, most importantly, also strengthening our friendship and getting to know more about um, the business world and 
be prepared for the society. Basically, I did learn a lot from this competition. I had a better understanding of how to write a business plan and the process taught us how to source for suppliers for various components of our final product and also allow us to think about practical yet innovative ways of resolving prevalent social issues. Then doing up the financial plan has also allowed me to learn some financial terms as well as gain better insight into calculating certain necessary figures like margins and gross profits. Then utilizing Excel spreadsheet to collate the data to de determine if the business would be a profitable venture. Then as a matter of fact, the initial stages of doing up the business plan itself was, were not easy as it was hard to identify a social issue that we felt strongly enough for and something that was close enough to our hearts so that we can think from the perspective of the target consumers to come up with the product that would suit them better. So the process of looking through various social issues and thinking through various viable solutions to help alleviate them has allowed us to be more, even more aware and the competition has made us to a certain degree less apathetic as it puts us in the in a, in a uh, position where we have to come up with tangible solutions which will have large enough impact on the society. So to have to think of it from a business perspective really incentivizes us to think of better and more innovative solutions to bring about the change we hope to see. Uh, we learn about like uh, the different business structures in setting up a company and that also it's very important to understand your customer so like to know what they're looking for and what will keep, keep them coming back for more so I think that's one thing that we learn how to um what to like how to look from a perspective of a consumer and also to differentiate ourselves from similar competitors because there are also other competitors in the market so we learn how to stand out from stand out from all these competitors as well and to plan our business in the minds of like potential consumers and also investors. We observe that many seniors get uh, less active as they grow older. And so we hope that using this immersive technology, we will be able to get the seniors to stay healthy, active, and also to learn new things. So in using these immersive technologies, uh, it enables the seniors to play interactive games and also exercise at the same time. It can also immerse them in a new environment to discover and, new, and learn new things. For example, we'll be teaching them how to use a smartphone or learning a place of their interest. In our research, some seniors were reluctant at first, but after seeing their friends play the games, they also tried it out. At the end, we did a survey with them and most of them enjoyed the games. They gave us more, this gives us more motivation to actually see how much further we can push uh, this project into, a, into this business plan so that we can help the seniors to stay active and healthy at the same time. The biggest takeaway would be learning all the different business plans that's what is needed, what is required. For me, it's also, when you put in hard work, uh, the result will come in. So, uh, it's like a hard work main felt is because we are from ITE and we're going up against GC, Poly and Millennials Institute. So, the biggest takeaway is the hard work is actually paying off. Not that uh, it just goes to waste or it's not being recognized. So, as a team together, working together and being able to win first prize, even though there's a lot of good competition, they are amazing and their ideas was great. But to be able to win with such a tough competition is really amazing the feeling for us. Uh, I will believe, I will say as a whole that we are thankful for this opportunity because we didn't expect this and the most grateful is just winning it and being able to say that we are able to do it.